Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Talk Books. I know it has been a freaking month since I last uploaded a video. Time flew this summer. Didn't even like realize that it has been a month. Um, so I'm sorry for that. So yeah, so in this video, I will discuss my August favorites since I've been away this month of August. I figured I'd share with you some of my favorite things that um, I discovered or such um, this month. And yeah, the first is my new color. As you can see, it's new. But I have a little backstory about this. This isn't the color that I originally was in August. I want to talk about that because I filmed a video when I first dyed my hair in the very beginning of August. And it's a different red. And that's the red that I love. And the red that I was going to talk about in my favorites. But last night, I went to the store to get my hair dyed. I knew I took a picture of my previous hair color, um, but I didn't bother to look and I picked up this other hair color. I'm like, oh, this looks like exactly the same. Same brand, but the girl had short hair. And I just thought it was the same, or even if it was a little different, it basically looked the same. Um, but it wasn't. This is what happened. Um, I'm not upset about it. It's just not a color that I had before. Um, this is the color that I used, which as you can see is not, it's not this. This is what I was actually. Um, this is the color that I was um, recently. The majority of August, I was this color. So you can see that's not, this is more of like a purple red, not, it's not this. So the other color I was, I found the picture, it was just auburn, Auburn red, I think. This is rich auburn true red. I should have known when it said rich that I should have not put this on my hair. But I'm not mad at it. It's, it's a little it's a little much, but whatever. We'll go with it. It's hair, it'll fade. Oh well, but yeah, my red hair is definitely a favorite of mine this month. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to go darker for fall and winter. But I didn't want to just go with boring old brown. I've been brown before and I don't mind it. Every time I go brown, I always have like this reddish golden hue to it. So you know what? Might as well just go red and just call it a day. So that's what I did. This is what I have and that's what's happening. So yeah, this is the red. So hopefully it's not too bad. Another favorite that I want to talk about is my Instagram. I finally found a theme that works that I have stuck with and that I am happy with and it will work for every season and just it just works. Um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram it's let's talk books that's it but I will link it down below and you should follow me there. I post pretty much every day and yeah it's just it's fun it's creative and I'm happy with the theme of it and yeah you should check it out and follow me and such books so I mm, haven't been reading all that much I yeah I haven't read um, that much so at least like an actual book um so my favorite thing that I read or rather listened to was the it audiobook by Stephen King. It was such a fantastic audiobook. It was like better than just reading it on its own because the voice effects were like so chilling and perfect. It just made my mood more eerie and just it fits so perfectly with the storyline and just set me up for next week when the movie comes out which I have my shirt. It's supposed to come like soon so I will probably wear the shirt when I do a review of the movie, which I definitely will do. I feel like I have to. So you'll see that shirt. Yeah, definitely recommend that audiobook. It was like like 40 hours long or something. Don't want to tackle such a big book. Those are the books I recommend getting an, audio, getting an audiobook for. It's my first audiobook that I have ever read from start to finish. And it was a successful one, so I'm happy about that and I definitely recommend it. So I was thinking about movies and honestly, I haven't watched a decent movie in a while. The only one that was like decent was Berlin Syndrome. It was interesting. It just wasn't um, amazing. So yeah, nothing that great that I've, um, that I've watched as far as movies go. So that's a bummer. But 
TV this summer has been epic. Besides, like, Big Brother, which is my shit. If you watch Big Brother, let me know. Um, who do you want to win? I don't know. I'm on the fence. Like, like, I am a dear, like, Paul fan. I know a lot of people hate Paul. And I understand. Like, he's obnoxious. But I love Paul. But I don't know. I kind of want Christmas to kick everyone's ass with a broken ankle and all to win. I like Alex, but I don't know. She kind of rubs me in the wrong way. Christmas um, or Paul. So let me know who you want to win. But for TV, um, like I said, besides like reality TV, the show The Sinner, holy guacamole. Have you seen it? It is so freaking good. I've seen the promo f for it. Like that is what made me be like, oh my God, I have to watch this like now. So in the promo, like this woman, she's on the beach with her husband and her child and like runs to this guy and stabs him like seven times. The, that like when you actually watch that scene, um, I think it's on USA, I believe. Whole, like USA shows a lot. Like there's a lot that goes on in the show that's like, is that okay for USA? I don't know, but yeah. It is insane. It's such a great like thriller, mystery, suspense, like everything tied into one. And there's some like crazy shit that goes down on this show. And I think it is so good. It's such a good like mini series to binge watch before all the fall shows start. I think it's gonna be eight episodes. We're on episode four, I believe. So definitely catch up. It is one that you don't want to miss. And I have no idea what's going to happen at the end. I'm just like, Pfft. Another show that I couldn't recommend more is Atypical on Netflix. It is like a comedy, dramedy. It is amazing. It's about this kid who has autism, but he's more of the, um, on the higher spectrum of autism. It's basically his life trying to date as, a, as someone with autism and going to school and just how hard it is for someone like him to be in this like normal society and just live life without having his parents by his side 24 7. It's such a a warm-hearted show that deals with a lot of real issues in just a fresh way and like the family is great. It's definitely like it's I kind of describe it as if parenthood was a sitcom but it's not like a sitcom. I don't know but it just has that parenthood vibe that I just love and I think all the characters are really great. Yeah, it's only eight episodes and I hope it gets a season two. It's just great. You're gonna like smile and laugh and just, oh, it's so, it just makes my heart like flutter. It's so good. I highly recommend it. For music, I am in love with Kesha's new album. I think I'm so happy that she's back and like better than ever. And her music has been so, so good. Her album has been on repeat. I love her song Rainbows and I don't know, I just love all her songs and I'm just so thrilled for her that she is getting to just um, bring out new music that she loves and that she stands by and you could just, you could feel that in all her songs, like just how much she has grown as a person and an artist. So please check out her new album if you haven't already, it's so good. Um, another artist that I just discovered that, oh my god, like... Where has he been my whole life? His name is Isaac, or it could be Isaac Danielson. His voice is so sickening and unique. And his song ending, um, I heard it on So You Think You Can Dance. And I will leave that dance video down below because I was like on the edge of my seat, like about to ball. And that song with that dance, like, I don't care if you've never seen the show before. Watch it, watch that dance, hear that song, then hear the full song, hear his whole album. Oh my god, like it will make you like die inside and just like fill up your soul. Oh, it's amazing. Go listen now. On to some other things. Um, makeup. Let's do makeup. I don't even have anything out. So unprepared. So, foundation. I have been loving the matte and poreless foundation from Maybelline. Their Fit Me line is the best thing ever in drugstore, the best line you could get. I was scared for this because it says normal to oily skin. I am none of that. I am like normal to dry. I was afraid that this wasn't gonna work for me, um, but I used it and it works for dry skin. 
I mean, it's not perfect and um, I definitely have to do a setting spray and really do a fine my face a little more, but it works. It lasts so long. It's not like this harsh matte finish. It still gives me like that skin like look that I love. I definitely recommend this or even the regular Fit Me. It is so, so good and they have a great color selection for like from really, really pale to really, really dark and everything in between. It's a good, good line. So definitely check out this line. So I've been obsessed with um, Wet n Wild. I love their photo focus line. I have, stay. I have their foundation, the setting spray, and then the eye primer. So good. Foundation, beautiful, lasts all day. Great coverage. I couldn't recommend it enough. Their eye primer, really, really great. Keeps your eyeshadow on all day long without annoying, ugly creases. It's great. And then I have, this is their Photo Focus Press Powder. It's really, really smooth. Um, it doesn't kick up your face. It sets it nice without giving a lot of coverage. And yeah, it's just a good powder. But the one thing that I've been loving is their um, contour stick. I am pale, obviously, but like it still works. Like you put this on, you're like, oh my God, oh my God, like no. But it blends like a dream and it is such a beautiful color for my skin tone. I don't know how well this will work for everyone because obviously there are people that are way more darker than I am. And this is obviously not going to work for everyone, but if you are my skin tone and a few shades up, this will really work well. Even if you are a little darker, this might work well as like just an overall like bronzer, um, not so much as a contour. But yeah, this works so well for me and I love their highlighting stick as well. It's another beautiful, beautiful shade. Like, oh my god, so good i love this line it's like my wow has to step up their game they're cruelty free vegan amazing so definitely check out their um lines of makeup especially their new stuff i'm dying to get their highlighters i can't find them anywhere they're always sold out so that sucks another thing that i've been obsessed with i mean obsessed like i've been like obviously you know that i've been losing weight and all that jazz and so I've been just trying to find different foods to eat that work for my new stomach. And peanuts have been like an issue for me for a while, especially peanut butter. Um, it just doesn't sit well for me. And I found out that peanuts are not good for digestion, but I have discovered a new butter. <laughs> Sunflower butter. Yeah, it's not free. If you have any nut allergy, this works for you. It is so freaking, when I tell you I am obsessed with this, I am obsessed. Like, I put it on anything that I can put it on. Like, overnight oats, um, like my oatmeal pancakes, um, on like little crackers, um, on top of like a smoothie, on a spoon. Like, let's be real. So good. Oh, so another thing I want to talk about are these sunglasses. I've been getting so many compliments on these. I'm just like, I feel like a Hollywood star. Like I spent like, I've seen these places going for like 300, 400, 500, like up there. $12, I pay less. I'm obsessed, I love them. If they still have them and pay less, get them because they're adorable. So probably the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is this YouTube channel called Brave Wild. Well, why, why am I saying wildness? Brave Wilderness. Uh, it is this channel from a guy named Coyote. He is this crazy wilderness guy. He travels around the world and like he does everything from getting bit by any insect you could think of, reptile, weird shit that I've never even seen before. He gets bit by them and shows you like what to do after you get bit and just like just being crazy, but he's so entertaining to watch. I just, I just love everything that he does and the passion that he has for animals and just the wildlife. Um, I have passion for animals. I just don't have passion for like bugs. Especially since I just got stung by a bee a couple weeks ago, which is my fear. I have a fear of bees. 
we've gotten better. Like, I, I was so fearful of bees that I saw one, and I literally fell down the stairs and, like, hurt my leg really badly because I saw a bee. I literally tumbled. Like, I could have died. I almost died because I saw a bee. So, my fear has definitely went down, but last week I, like, picked up something from outside, and there was a bee, and it stung me. I think on this thing, some one fi a finger. It was very terrifying. So watching him has gets my fear going a lot because the way that he manhandles these bugs, it makes it makes them bite him, and he's just like, like he's you can tell he's in pain, but he's just so chill about it. And then like he'll be like, okay, let me take you off. Okay, bye. I'm, no, I would have killed it. He's just. I don't know how he does it. Like I have been watched so many of his videos and they're so addicting. Now, if you're squeezy like me when it comes to bugs, I still recommend you watch it because it's still fun. But you'll definitely be like the whole time because that's how I am. But yeah, it's just really, really, it's just a fun channel to watch and, and so different from everything else that I watch on YouTube. So it's a nice change. So yeah, that is it for my favorites. I thought I would be having like more, but I don't. Um, so that is all that I have to share with you. Please let me know what are your favorites this August. And um, yeah, I definitely have a lot more videos coming your way. I pinky, double pinky promise you. So definitely check them out in the next few weeks. So, so that is all. I will see you in my next video. Bye.